Hope you're all still awake. Late Night Mega here. This is the Mega Man HFB series Frigid Man. This one has a very positive score. The last couple have not been that positive for me. But we'll see how Frigid Man does. Wonder, are we going to have the same four weapon set? What would be really interesting is if they gave you. Oh gosh. Now we're going to have eight weapons now. Okay. We have eight weapons. Or do we? But we have those four now. And now we have three more. I'm so confused by the design of some of this. Maybe the intention is it's trying to be like the Game Boy Mega Man games, where you'd get four bosses first and then you'd fight the other four later. I definitely need something different here. Okay, that rain flush is not required there. Just a very tight jump. And so maybe the idea is you get three weapons, but they're different weapons because you're assumed that you're going to each of these stages with the other weapons that you'd get. You know what I mean? So say we had our we had our first four weapons, which is these four, and so we'd go to a stage and it assumed you beat the other three robot masters to get the other three weapons. And you did that for each stage, and so that's why we had three in each of them. And now we're on to the second set of stages, which is really dangerous. Ooh, my. And so that's why we're starting with the four and we're getting the other three, because we're assumed to have gone after the other three robot masters and gotten their weapons first. Hey, look, a thing for Jewel Satellite. This is minorly dangerous. I'll just do this. Take care of him, get the E tank. That's not how you deal with these platforms. Oh, you can't just immediately turn around and start firing at me. We don't have the ability to. those blocks if they could be destroyed. We need the power to punch stuff in the face. We don't believe in that. It's not in this series. Okay, do it this way. So the theme of this stage is ice and ice-type enemies alongside the ring platforms. That's nice. I might actually finish this stage today. I must say, I am liking the placement of some of these enemies. Provides an interesting challenge. Oh! Oh, that is neat! The penguin's bouncing off of those little spikes. I didn't know they could do that. I see what they want me to do, but there's what they want me to do and what I'm actually going to do. No, oh, okay, I wasn't coming into a screen full of enemies, but we have them in the sky there. Hey, I have this. not use a block dropper enough. It is a really strong weapon. Hey, there we go, Dr. R, we made it! R for Nightman is about to make a really big racket. And he's not going to be weak to that. Oh, hey, this will be funny. Ha 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 ha! Yeah, you are going to be weak to this. Yeah, once Nightman loses his, uh, oh, at me. 
unfortunately, we're kind of out of that. That's okay, because Flash Bomb is doing damage regardless. And we get the perfect freeze from Frigid Man. I like that weapon. Well, that stage went much more smoothly. I gotta agree with all these other people. Upvote this one. And you know what? It went so smoothly, we have time for another one, provided it's gonna be good. It's not gonna be good, it's Toxic Man. It's got three upvotes. We're gonna be battling Astro Man. So let's see, what, what weapon are we going to be lacking, aka what weapon would we get from Toxic Man here? I would guess... Show me the weapons again. Show me the weapons. Show me the weapons! I have no idea. Flash bomb. I... <laughs> Let's see if I'm right. Oh, yes! I am right! Flash bomb is the toxic weapon. There's a pit down into death for no reason. Other than to make people check down there, because you could hide an energy tank down there with a teleporter and be like, hey, there you go. Yeah. I think the other intention is that maybe you just fight these in whatever order and only pick the ones for the weapons that you've defeated. We're totally not doing that. gonna give me weapons, I'm gonna use them. Watch the pattern first. That is a dangerous pattern, indeed. Okay, it wasn't that dangerous. Oh, we need the perfect freeze to go through here. Yeah? This will get us our E-Tank. I'm gonna pass. Hey. Okay, so Yoku blocks. Of course, Toxic Man has Yoku blocks. They're toxic to our health. Okay, this is not working as well as I would prefer. Interesting way of going about things. Don't much care for the ambush on the cannons, but I guess you had to have some enemies here. Okay, what do I have that can just hit that thing from above? Hey, get the drop on him. Oh, I guess those are meant to just like throw us off. Eh, not worth it. Don't explode, don't explode! Yeah. Oh, this is obnoxious. I'll fix that. Hey, we made it! That was a shorter stage. Apparently, this is just mid boss territory. Didn't work as well as I would have liked. Interesting concept for a mid boss. <sighs> uh, I was risking it there. And again. I really should be watching those patterns before attempting it. Cooperate now. 
very well. Fine. Do it like that. Yeah, we gotta watch this pattern. That's all the pattern we're getting. That's fine. Oh, they're showing us where it's going to appear. I like this design! That is how you design a section like that where you can't see all the Yoku blocks. Very well done. Get the drop on these guys. I don't know if I want to... I kind of want to. Fine, we won't. We won't. We don't have to. And there's the Dr. R, who I'm betting is going to be weak to the perfect freeze. Let's call it a hunch. Oh, we have Yoku blocks in this. I like this design for this thing. Hey, I was right. I called it. Hey, we got him. Hey, we got Flash Bomb. Yeah! The Toxic Flash Bomb. All right, yeah, this was a great stage. I liked how this went. So with that, I will see you guys next time.